In this video, I'm gonna show you how Henry used this cover three bomb to absolutely run through the MCS Ultimate Thanksgiving and also use this to qualify for the MCS Ultimate Wildcard Tournament that we have coming up uh, here in the next couple of weeks. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also wanna let you know that I did a full one hour breakdown of young Henry, his game against Gabagol in the Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament in his game against Noah in the Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament. So if you want to check that stuff out, if you want to get access to all of that content, not only are you going to get access to all of my eBooks, my offensive and defensive eBooks, which I have 12 of, we just released our Air Raid Offense out of the Arizona Playbook uh, yesterday, but you're also going to get access to these in-depth breakdowns of pro players and what their film is uh, teaching us, what they're doing. So if you want to get access to all that, you can get that by joining the Patreon. I also have a Gun Bunch eBook in there um, that uses some of these concepts and we also have a bunch of other ones as well so again if you want to go more in depth on this go ahead and join that patreon i'm going to put a link to that in the description uh, but the play we're going to be talking about today is a absolute dot specifically against cover three and the mike blitz three meta uh, but the play comes to us out of smash return now really important if you're going to run this play you really should have a uh, hot route master quarterback or an outside apprentice uh, receiver that you could put a skinny post on. That's going to make kind of the whole uh, concept, if you will. Now, what this actually is, is it's a short side bunch setup. Um, it's best if ran to the short side of the field. And the adjustments are really simple. All we're going to do is slant the R1 receiver, and then we're going to put the running back on an out. And we're going to put Devonte Adams or the solo receiver on a skinny post. And I'm going to just audible down into uh, the Mike Blitz three here, and just going to kind of set up a meta Mabel coverage concept. And what you're going to see uh, is this little corner route to Robert Tunyon on this right side is going to pull this guy. Once that post passes the crosses the face of that safety, as you can see, it can get over the top. Uh, of that cover three for an absolute laser. Let me show you that one more time here. So again, all we're gonna do is we are going to uh, put our inside slot receiver on a slant. We're gonna put our solo receiver on a skinny post and we're gonna put our running back on an out route. And what you're gonna see is if it is cover three, as soon as that post route comes across the middle of the field, we can pass lead that to the right, click on, and make a great play. Now, uh, I'm going to come back to cover three here in just a second, but I also want to show uh, another coverage that this is very effective uh, against, and that is the Tampa 2. So I'm going to set up kind of a one of the number one coverages that you'll see people mabel out of, especially against Gun Bunch, uh, is the Tampa 2. And I'm going to show you how this works. What you're going to see is that that corner route on the right side is going to pull that guy down. Super, super um open bomb right there and as you can see Devonte adams is going to get over the top of that for a one play score now as far as how does this work against a uh, maybe like a match concept uh, i'm going to jump into cover four quarters here and kind of show you uh, how this works against that uh, for the most part this does a decent job uh, as long as i don't get my life shedded away that is why i like to qb spy in practice mode for whatever reason uh, ea sports has uh, just absolutely buffed uh, the pass rush in practice but, but let me show you this uh, this beater uh, for match now i would say that match probably does a little bit better of a job than any of the other coverages but as long as you have like a route tech on that guy or some kind of route running ability deep out elite um you're going to be able to get that open against match coverage just like you're going to get open against anything else and then the last coverage that i wanted to kind of hit on today um is the cover four drop now the cool part about that is we're only focusing really on one route obviously you're going to look to your corner oftentimes you against cover four drop your corner route is going to be open um you're going to see here that if you try to throw this against cover four drop it's kind of a tight window to be honest with you, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but the problem for the defense becomes if they're having to run cover four to stop that one route, then what you're going to notice here is that the running back's going to get open, the slant's going to get open, the little smash return return route uh, is going to get open. And then again, if they just happen to be in cover three, as you can see, if you got a good gunslinger quarterback, um, this is something that you can really use to just absolutely torch the defense. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you are looking to take your game to the next level, the best place to do that is by joining my Patreon. Uh, by joining my Patreon, you literally, literally get everything. You're going to get exclusive tips uh, that I don't share publicly here on the YouTube channel. You're going to get all of my ebooks, offensive and defensive ebooks. Right now we have 12, uh, and we have uh, another one that we're going to be launching this week, which is probably going to be my best defensive guide of the year. 
And then we also have uh, pro player breakdowns. This play, I learned this from watching the game uh, be between Henry and Noah. And if you want to get a full uh, breakdown of that game and literally play by play, setup by setup, exactly what is happening, again, that's out over at the Patreon. So if you want to get access to all of that content for just 10 bucks a month, you could join the Patreon. Head on down to the description below. You don't have to sign up for a year or anything, it's just 10 bucks a month. And as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. And whenever you aren't, don't want it anymore, then you can just cancel that. No problem. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys later.